Okay, firstly, um, I'll show you what's in my tool bag and then I'll be running the line for a couple of minutes, laying a few bricks. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, have a look what I've got in the tool bag. Move it out of the way. I'll take things out as they are. Oh, I've got me 1200 stabila level there. 600 stabila again. Rarely use anything else on the boat level. Use that for brick on edge and soldier pulse. Five meter tape. And we jointer. A couple of different jointers, different sizes. Uh, gloves for block work. Safety goggles. Cutting bricks. Two brushes. It's a harder brush now. And a softer brush for face work. Trust the old Marshall Town trowel. Never used anything else. Pointing trowel. Use that plus jointing or weather strut. Claw hammer. Never really use that. For a shuttle maybe if found footings. Got my lump hammer. Trusty lump hammer. Stanley knife. Cutting open pallets of bricks and uh, DPC and insulation and tape. And stuff. There's another jointer. Slightly larger that one. New one. Half inch. Uh, an old joint. Pencil. Really use that for setting out. Chariot. Recess joint in. For the perps and the beds. That now gives you that recess joint. 60mm bolster. 100 mil, it's actually 105mm bolster. There. Lines and pins. There you go. More string. That's nylon. That's not the foot pin, but it's got a good uh, stretch to it. It's nylon. Use that for setting out. Running the line, so on. Got me your brick chisel. If I'm working on any existing work, work out the scutch hammer. It's got the scutch in it, still look worn down. To take that out, what I do, I put that on the edge of a block, give that a whack with my lump hammer and that comes out, put a new one in when that's worn down. Really good for breaking, cutting blocks, trimming blocks down. Wire brush, clean my trowel at the end of the day, or the following day, a lot of people don't like using it, I do. <coughs> eight, mm, eight meter tape, very wide tape that. Use that 30mm. You can gauge up quite a long way with that without it bending or breaking. Good solid tape, quite robust. Uh, we trusted F clamps in there. I've normally got four, the two must be in the boot of the car or something. Good for holding profiles. I don't mind profiles, they've been years. Uh, corner blocks, rarely use corner blocks, but they're in there anyway. I normally put the pin in the bed below, two courses below. A couple of spare pins, another tape, three tapes. Um, spare trowel, worn out a bit. Uh, and there you have it. That's about everything. Um, most of these tools you can pick up, screw fix, B and Q, you know, to be honest, the lump hammer's a lump hammer, a bolster's a bolster, there's not really a lot in it. They're very cheap. Old by tape is quite robust. Uh, yeah, the brushes and the pointing trowels, you know, they're all kind of four, five, six quid, most of them. Um, the only two tools I would absolutely stand by, 100%, is the trusted Marshall Town and the Beeler. The Beeler levels last forever. Obviously, you change the trail every two, three years because they wear down on site. But uh, Marshall Town are by far the best. And there is a link to this. I'm affiliated with uh, Amazon, 
So there's a link at the bottom where I found one for 39.99. Most of them like anything up to 46 quid, 42. Um, yeah, if you uh, click on that, I get a little kickback, but not a lot, to be honest. Um, yeah, so there's the tool bags, what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to go down to the, uh, do a bit of running the lining. Hey guys, thanks for watching and leave a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel.